Hello guys, so welcome to our uh, second uh, experiment of lab three. And the objective of this, uh, of this experiment is basically to show you uh, a practical setup to measure the diet characteristic in a real lab, okay? So basically we don't have parameter sweep in our real lab. We cannot, you know, we don't have the chance to, uh, with some fancy tool or fancy uh, power source that it changes you know, in step by step, the voltage from whatever minus 15 to to voltage with some some kind of a step, and some fancy other tool to record the voltage across the uh, diode and the current at the same time for each stop, each step of increase or change in our power source. We don't have such thing, okay? But we can imitate parameter sweep using a oscilloscope, and this is basically what we saw uh, in lab two. If you guys remember in lab two, uh, in this series of labs, we we uh, uh, we saw is how we can use the oscilloscope to imitate the parameter sweep stuff of multi sim, and this is practical. You know, this is something that you can do in the real lab. And this is what we're gonna what we're gonna do now. Also, we already get our you know measurement from uh, our first experiment. So I'm just showing you how to do you know, something practical to show you the, re the relation between ID and the VD without the hassle of it changing the VD or the input here, I'm sorry, and the record for each change VD and, I in, uh, and ID in, you know, uh, step by step in a very tedious and, uh, you know, and long process, which is really error, error broad. And, uh, and since the relation is also nonlinear, you need, you know, uh, high number of, of points to make it accurate uh, characteristics. So how are we gonna do that? In just a simple step using such uh, connections here, okay? Or such setup. We have a telescope, we have a diode, and we have this resistance. If you guys remember from our second lab, okay? And uh, I encourage you to, to watch again the second lab videos, you know, to understand uh, the basic operation behind such setup and the theory behind how this will imitate parameter sweep, okay? And why this resistance is one ohm, okay? So we, we said at that time that this resistance is one ohm so that when we measure its voltage across the oscilloscope here at channel B, the channel B will measure its voltage. And since its current, uh, its value is one ohm, then the current in that resistor R2 equal to its voltage. So IR2 equal to VR2. So the current across R2 is equal to the voltage across R2. And remember the current of R2 is exactly equal to the current of ID because again, these are open circuits. You know, the, the oscilloscope is just open circuit. It's just like a voltmeter. And we know that voltmeters has infinite, theoretically infinite input resistance. Okay, so the current here is just series. Okay, guys. So basically, on a channel B, you are measuring VR2, which is IR2, which is ID, right? And on channel A, we're measuring VD. So the two channels of the oscilloscope is basically measuring ID and VD. But remember, we also, there is a caveat here. We also mentioned in our, in, in lab two, that internally, not a multi sim internally in a practical oscilloscope, the channel, a and the channel B uh, grounds are the same. They are connected inside. You should have one, one ground in your, in your circuit, okay? So uh, we connect the both ground to the same terminal or same point or node in the real circuit. So if you look here, channel B positive is connected to the ground and the channel B negative is connected to this point. So it's, it's actually measuring the negative voltage of, uh, of R2. It, it's measuring minus VR2 or minus IR2, right? But there, we, can, we can just flip this again to its original, uh, you know, VR2 and IR2 by this, uh, you know, sitting here in the oscilloscope, okay? Then using uh, the BA mood or XY mood in other oscilloscopes, uh, some oscilloscope again, name channel A as channel X and name it channel B as channel Y. Okay, then we're gonna measure or draw I versus B. So let's do that. So we're gonna, you know, uh, run here the simulation. 
double click the scope and here it is you just need to make these settings okay and you have it you have here in the in the manual and here is i versus v but i found multi sim really ugly you know this guy you, you you guys can see there are many you know curves you know it should be with just one curve you know uh so you know something to show you what you gonna do in a, in a practical setup it's not something that you're gonna rely on so again we get our measurement from experiment one you know it's like the change of forward resistance in uh, as, a, as a change in the input voltage and also we, we measured the breakdown voltage but here we just show you how to do that in a practical way so you guys just need to uh, repeat what i have done take a screenshot of that experiment and put this uh, here in your in your lab report okay thank you very much and good luck in that uh, lab and good luck with your report bye bye